Hello beautiful people, Nick here with another video for you guys. So I'm doing a drugstore foundation routine. Of course brows are always done first. If you guys are interested in me doing a brow routine update, definitely let me know in the comment section. So I have a new way of how I'm applying um, my product to my face. So first thing that I'm going to do is color correct. I have not primed as of yet, but I'm using the LA Girl color correcting shade. Applying that into the areas where I feel like I need to color correct a little bit and then I'm going to blend it out. Now I do have a currently new favorite primer, shout out to Scandinavia because they did send it to me, but I am using their priming spray. Never have I used a priming spray, but I absolutely love this. When it dries, it gives you kind of like a little tacky feeling and seems like the foundation sticks a little bit better when I use it and I don't use anything else other than that priming spray and I'm perfectly fine with my oily skin. So I'm using the Milani foundation. If you guys haven't seen my review on it, definitely check it out. I'm using more of the chestnut shade because I've noticed that this does tend to oxidize um, after a while. So I'm applying that foundation and then of course I let it dry initially and then I'm going to apply my highlight. For today I'm using Warm Honey which is in uh, LA Girl. LA Girl Pro Concealer Warm Honey. Decided I wanted something a little bit more bright today. So with this concealer I have to apply it in section because for me personally it dries too fast. So I like to work in sections so it's not patchy um, if I have it all over the face and then try to blend it out. So I'm just going to work in sections and go right behind it and blend it out so that I can make sure that the blending of the concealer is very much so seamless. So how y'all been? Tell me in the comment section how y'all day is going. This weather is starting to break y'all and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm so ready for the spring. So after I have all of the highlighted areas blended to my liking, new favorite product, the Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. I will make sure I put the exact name down below. Hated this powder when I initially purchased it, but your girl is obsessed with it. If you guys are interested in a review on that or a video on that, I can definitely do that because I'm a darker skinned girl and I'm using a basically white powder to set my highlighted areas. So I'm going to go ahead, use that powder to set everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder and apply that to my lids just to kind of mute out the color and just basically make it one color. So I'm going to quickly do um, a line on the eye because I don't want to wear any shadow today. And then I'm going to apply my mascara. Of course, lashes were applied off camera, but I will be sure to let you guys know in the info section as far as what um, lashes I did use. So I'm going to bronze my face. I'm using the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze bronzer to just kind of warm up the face a little bit. I didn't want to have really like a contour. I just wanted to be bronzed if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm applying that product all over the face around the perimeter of the face and just blending it out with my angled blending brush. did a little bit of a reverse contour um, I don't like to use a lot of powder in that area because for some reason it just looks so unnatural at times this is the Kat Von D exorcism liquid lipstick love her lipsticks you guys absolutely love her lipsticks I did do a lip swatch video with a lot of her lipsticks as well so definitely check that out and once I have that all together I'm going to set my face with my favorite powder the L'Oreal Pro Matte powder all over the face and make sure that everything is blended together very very nicely and for the highlight today I'm using the City Colors Timeless palette this is their first edition love this palette you guys for highlighting gives you such a nice beautiful natural glow which is what I am looking for for this look and of course after a highlight you definitely have to set your face I'm using the Scandinavia finishing spray absolutely love this spray you guys we'll have all information about them down in the more info section so definitely check there but that completes the look if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe before the end of the video and if you have not seen my latest two videos you can click on the two boxes on my face and check out the video but I'm going to go ahead and go it off here guys I love you guys for all of your support keep it cute and classy and I will see you all in my next video bye guys